Guys, for all the solutions of this book, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. I've been working hard of putting all the problems into one convenient place for you to be able to do your homework easily. So pay us a visit. All right, guys, let's do this problem. Let's just look at the centroid of the cross-sectional area. So we have this area that I'm going to divide into two parts. I'm going to call this rectangle part one and this second rectangle I'm going to call it part two. And now we're going to be able to build our table to solve this problem. So you know that each rectangle has a centroid right in the center of the, each rectangle. And our table looks like this. The area, x curly, y curly, x curly times the area, and y curly times the area. And there's two parts, which is one and two. And this is our table. So let's find the areas. For part one, the area is from here to here times 0.5, which is 3.5 times 0.5, which should be around 1.75 square inches. And sorry, I messed this up. This area goes right here. This is one, this is two, back on track. 1.75 square inches. So X curly, which is X curly and Y curly are the location of the spot. In the X, it should be sitting at 0.25 inches because here's zero and you go 0.25 and you go up and Y should be sitting at 2.25. Why? Because if this length is 3.5, half of it is 1.75, but you also have to add the 0.5 of the bottom one, which makes it 2.25 inches. Now let's do the bottom one. The bottom one's much easier. It's 1.5 inches square because it's three times 0.5. And the location of the centroid, it's sitting at 1.5, which is half the rectangle right here. And in the Y, it's sitting at 0.25 inches. So now we're just going to multiply the area by the coordinates to get the rest of the table. This should be 0.4375 inches cubed. And this should be 3.93 inches cubed. And the bottom one should be 1.5 squared times 1.5, 2.25 inches cubed. And this should be 0.375 inches cubed. And now, what we got to do is find the sums. And that is a sum symbol, I swear. Okay. So 1.5 plus 1.75 is 3.25 inches squared. The sum of these two is 2.6875 inches cube, cubic inches, 4.312 cubic inches. And there you have it. Now it's super easy to find X bar and Y bar by dividing each of the sums by the area. So the top one should be 0.827 inches and the bottom one should be 1.327 inches and those are the coordinates of this point c which is the centroid final answer final answer